Hey there, it's Farmer Brad, and on today's video, uh, I took today off of work so I can try to get caught up on farm projects, and the goal today is to get as many farm projects done as possible, and I'll hopefully be able to take you along uh, in that progress and uh, just give you an idea of all of the million things that need done in the springtime. Hope you enjoy. First thing I have to do is I have to run into town, uh, pick up some things. Uh, yesterday, there was a big uh, industrial fire in our town and my grandma lives not too far from the area. And so gonna take an air purifier over to her so she can hopefully uh, minimize uh, particulates in the air and stuff that's creeped into her place. Um, and then going to get uh, the stuff to change the oil in the lawnmower and uh, get some mulch and a few additional one by twos uh, to be able to finish out that uh, chicken uh, rental package and get it out the door. So the fire started yesterday around two o'clock and uh, they said it's gonna still be burning for a couple days. But what's bad is uh, there's a lot of plastics there and batteries that, old batteries that were gonna be recycled uh, according to reports. And so, um, yeah, the stuff that that's putting up in the air is not good. So I did bring a mask. So when I'm in the general area, I'll put that on to keep myself protected. Roseview Nursery, uh, picking up some brown mulch uh, for doing some landscaping at the farm. Um, so it's 29 bucks a scoop. Uh, we'll see how how well my truck handles a uh, scoop and we might get a couple. Uh, so making some progress and then we'll be heading home and getting tackling the task. So with uh, some of the kids help, uh, we made some progress. Uh, I need to get some more mulch, uh, but let me show you uh, what we did. So we got new mulch there, a little bit there, and then we clean this up. Uh, still got a little bit of mulch that needs to go there. Swept the sidewalk, and then this over there. I put that little block there since that's where the water will be. Um, and then uh, we still gotta trim the shrubs here. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So the next project I'm working on is changing the oil for our zero turn radius mower so that then I can uh, start mowing. Another project that we're working on is we have the go-kart here. Personally in the barn, uh, the chickens had uh, pooped all over the back of it and we had this seat that, um, cause this one broke here on the frame and we got a replacement from the warranty. So figured now would be a good time to replace it. So she's uh, taking that frame off. We'll put it on there and then we'll feed the uh, seat belts through and get that seat mounted in there. And then um, we need to change the oil and then that should be good to go. Now I'm working on jacking up this trailer, getting the tire off so I can take it to the tire shop and get it replaced. So I have the jack from the truck. I'm gonna jack this up get the tire off of there and then take it to the tire stop shop if it's still open. Well, it's uh, getting towards the end of the day. I uh, didn't get accomplished everything that I wanted to, but um, on a positive note, the lawnmower has had the oil change and uh, I was able to do a couple passes with the lawnmower. Um, I got the trailer tire off to the shop. Um, should be able to pick up a new one tomorrow and then get some of this junk hauled away. Uh, and the go-kart took a little bit longer, um, but uh, the go-kart needs an oil change still. Um, but as far as the seat goes, it's all installed and ready to go. Um, I did not get to the chicken uh, rental package uh, putting the skids on the bottom but uh, I have a pretty good um, 
idea how I'm gonna do that. So hope you enjoyed this video, uh, taking you along on my uh, catch up project day on the farm. Until next time, have a great day, bye.